This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne, and this movie is inspired from my summer of FileMaker questions. I've been posting to a lot of my blogs different questions like a quiz format, and then another blog that actually has the answer, so you can go back and forth. And what we've done is choose one over here as a test, and the question is, will a checkbox field, or even a radio button field for that matter, that has the on object enter script trigger applied to it, will it fire for each possible check? And I was like, well, I don't think it would. But I couldn't find anywhere where it said it would or would not. I I thought once you clicked into the field, you were into the field. And then after that point, you're just editing what is inside of the field, but you're still there. Unless you tab out or, you know, hit the return key, exit the record the traditional ways. So we go into layout mode. You see that I do have, you know, a, whoops, i got a command W click. You can see that I do have the on object trigger applied to it, and it's just running a script called trigger. And I have it in both browse and find modes. And that's the same thing here as well. So let's give it a try. Let's go into browse mode. Let's click into the field the first time. And our script track uh, fired and said, I've been triggered. Now we're still in that field. We can see it's selected. And no, the trigger didn't fire again and again. If I click into it after clicking out, of course it's going to. I wonder about these radio button fields. Well, we click into it the first time, the trigger fires, and then does not fire again. So the behavior that you would expect, that if you're already in the field, but you're just changing checkbox or valueless choices inside the field without exiting, does not fire the script trigger again. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.